Hello there here and today we are going to continue playing Bohemian Cupid. This time we are going to play with Nathan Rowe. Yeah. So previously and in an unexpected way, I was expecting this to be a more going into a more weird direction, but apparently it's more of an what do you call it? Serious adult stuff. Uh, living in your 30s situation, you know, <laughs> which is sweet and lovely. Anyway, yes, we are gonna go with Nathan. I assume this is story of love and this is the story of love? Question mark? Nathan? I'm, I'm not really sure about you, Nathan. I don't. I don't at all. Road B, covered with waffles. Yes, I, I don't know if you can see the waffles. Can you see the waffles? I don't know. Am, am I covering it? Probably I'm covering it. It's in my mouth now. I ate the waffles. Fuck you all. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Road B. Hold on, I still have, actually I remember I have a revenge that I haven't been done yet. How do I go back to the main menu? There we go. Okay, so you know how there's an a boop achievement, right? And I search like all around the game of recording for how to get it. Turns out it's very easy. All you have to do is press this dog nose a hundred times. You know that I tried to press the dog nose and the people nose and everyone knows multiple times? I just... You... You fucker, you totally didn't make sound before. You, you son of a... No, no, no fucking shot. No fu Okay. Either I'm stupid, or yesterday was bug because there's no sound at all. What the fuck? Okay then. Okay. I don't know what happened yesterday, but I click everyone knows. Apparently I missed this by an inch. Maybe something like this, yeah. But anyway, it's active now and we just need to do this a hundred times. I hate myself. How? Oh, uh, what? We can only understand where you're coming from, sir. Of course, having all that money earns an annoyance. Well, yeah, I'm sick of those kids fighting over my damn inheritance. I'm not surprised that someone off Kaede, all she did was make about me, about the wheel, and whine about her clothes. Kaede? The clothes we bought for her, and her grades, bah. That sounds awful, kid those days have no idea of how good they got it. Micah? Exactly, are you just like, going through it right now, like just, mm, yeah, 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 sure, sure. I could totally understand if you found yourself having to consider harsher methods, if you understand what I mean. This between you and me. My bosses want me to arrest you, can you believe that? Even though you were completely in the right. Well, that's a lot of crap. It is, that's why. You can tell me what you had in mind. I might even be able to get you out of here. Come. Alright, the day Kaede went missing, were you already planning... Enough. Chief Faraday will never agree with you. What? what the hell? We all know you killed your niece. Fess up already, you murderer. Huh? So this was our ploy to get me to confess, huh? For the love of God. I've had enough talking to you people, unless you have solid evidence, don't you dare bother my family. Why is the text box different? Did I give a, a word? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why in the world did you think that breaking into my interrogation was a good idea? Yeah, yeah, kill him. Kill him, my... As the guy is guilty, it's obvious. I was trying to make him think I'm on his side, so pass up. We need a convention to close the case. You single-handedly set about your investigation for months. We might never be able to prove he killed this ni his this niece now. Oh, oh, eto, bwe. <laughs> oh, that's all you have to say. Sorry, Shift. I got impatient. You always are. This is the third time you scream guilty at a suspect and ruin everything. I don't even know how you managed to make this a habit, considering I've told you off several times. I'm sorry, okay? I'm new at this job. Sigh. Ugh. Just go home as Kitchener. 
<laughs> sure, really? I can go home. Yes, yes you can. Yes, yes, just go. Nice! You got home, and you got away from job as well. You're fired. Scythe, my head hurts. I want to go home and hook Baba. So, wait for me. Boop Baba needs 69 times and... 69 times and... Uh huh. Is it the same thing? Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, then. God, God fucking damage. Let's just start Nathan Road. I'm too tired to be mad at you, Nathan. I've never really enjoyed traveling that much. My parents would bring me around to every corner of the country for business meetings. It wasn't fun. I hated it. Deck of I. Taking a plane or going on a train ride made me sick. But nowadays it's different. Simazawa is a small village in the middle of nowhere surrounded by forests. I live in the city, but lately I've been coming here a lot. I've been staying in small, humble hotels for as long as my job let lets me. It's a bit of a long trip, a couple hours by train, sometimes more depending on the weather. There's a reason why I make a long trip from Tokyo to this remote village. Hi, can I sit here? Yes, sitting at the right most table near, near the big window. Ah, Izumi and Nathan, our sub meeting. Every morning at this exact time, he sits at the same table, orders same food, and reads the same book. You're. Every single day. Sorry I'm late, Nathan. Nathan. That voice. Izuki! Hi there. Sometimes Nathan doesn't recognize my face, but he remembers my voice. Other time, it's the other way around. Have you checked your notes today? Not yet. Let me see. His memory comes and goes. This way, he keeps an intricate there in his phone and summarizes it every evening. That way, the next day, he can quickly try to recall the things that happened. I found your name. Um, Izuki is an important person. He's always nice and helping you out. He has a podcast and live in the city. You're dating. E e e Th that's right. We're dating. Yes, you remember. Of course I do. Yep. Hello, owner. Excuse me. Here are your waffles, Nathan, with an extra maple syrup on the side. Thank you. Izuki, would you like some water? No, I'm fine just watching. Gosh! <laughs> Nathan began to build a house out of the waffles, so it's a siege. What the fuck? Okay. This too was part of his routine. He has quarter ship on the side so that he can mess with the muffle as much as he muffles, waffles as much as he wants. Every day on the same diner at the same hour. Izuki, look, it's my house. It looks like you're missing a window. Right, because it broke when the neighbor kids throw a baseball and still haven't fixed it. You didn't the window guy come over last week? Um? Oh, right, right, duh. At the face of something as scary as amnesia, Nathan smiles and keeps on going. Those waffle looks good. Not touching, not until I take a picture. God damn it. Nathan, you have been infected with the, with the social media virus. No. Munch. Hey, don't munch on my rooftop. Ha ha ha. The morning, the morning sunlight shines on his eye, a sight I've grown to appreciate. Right, I was on day, it was on a day like this one. A completely normal day like any other. I look at him sitting there and thought, I love his passion. I love his positivity and his sense of humor. The way he picks his glass when he's thinking, the stray hairs on his forehead that refuse to stick in place. I love it. Oh, that's weird. Hey, Izuki. Nathan looked at me with an upsetting expression. It's the one he only made when he talked about his past. When he seems to be close to remembering the thing he's fighting to keep forgetting. 
Don't break my heart, please. I don't know if I can handle it. Nathan spoke softly, his gaze now aimed at me instead of the waffles. What brought this up? Just... I don't know. Taking his time in mind, I took a minute to think about it. Well... This short sounds a bit tense, but I really think hard to say the right thing than let out whatever comes to mind. Nathan, you stink. I'm sorry about that. I, I need to tell you about this. This short sounds are a bit tense, but I really think hard to say the right thing. Okay, we already wrote this. I can't make any promises about the future. If there's one thing that I've learned, it's that it's better to treasure the present instead. I can promise that it won't hurt you in the future, that being realistic as much as I had, hate to think about it. But, what do you say you go on a date with me this weekend? A date? Let's make some nice memories together. Okay, I'll love to. I said it so confidently, but I don't know if, what I'd do if you said no. What do you want to do? Movies? The zoo? A picnic? Can we go to the beach? Let's start with the movies, what do you think? Yeah, I'll find a cool one. There's no movie theater in Simazawa, is there? No, we have to go to Oko Town. They show really old movies, movies and only open on Tuesday for some reason. I like old movies too. Okay, um, I have to sleep early so we can meet up at 3 p.m. near the old cafe. Do I know how to get there? This switch confuses me. I'll have to figure it out. Sure, I'll pick you up near the cafe from that long street nearby the uh, library. Hey. I'm going on a date with Izuki. <laughs> Look at your expression. I don't think he heard me. Ah, the waffles. They're getting soggy. Mmm, yummy, delicious soggy waffles. You better hurry up and use the syrup then. Mmm, even more soggy waffles. Yeah. I don't mind coming all the way here to see him. It's always worth it. Oh, That's sweet. Experiment with choices to earn achievements. Yes, I already did that. Hello, Izuki. You're a new, new character. I... <laughs> I... I I'm, I'm so done. Who invited me to this podcast? I was about to say this is a podcast room. Because you're doing a podcast. I have several questions. Um, oh yes, yes. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Yes, this is my professional voice. <laughs> I'm dying using this. There are many reasons why I believe that there are creatures other than us out there, including the fact that you are interviewing me like creature. Not only a cellular or single cell being, but advanced societies that have no idea who we are. If you want a more intricate answer, I'll talk about this on episode 15. It's why that later part is 30 minutes longer than usual. Ah, so you're the, the type of uh, podcaster. You explain very clearly why it has 30 minutes more usual. Me? I don't know. I, I, I can explain why it's two hours more longer than usual, okay? This has been the Midnight Ghost Pod. Tune in again next week for an exclusive interview with Canton Resumes. Phew! The current takes so much energy, it's fun though. No! No, I'm I'm having psychic damage. I decided to record several episodes in a few days so I can focus on going out with Nathan. I don't want to mess this up, not with him. I get so invested in finishing this episode that I lost track of what I was doing. I'll I'll have to go back to Simazawa. I should prepare myself properly. What time shall I leave for the date? Uh, 1 p.m. That's it. I don't want to disappoint Nathan, not him. I'm bringing him him up near the really wrong road, right? Obviously, nobody responded. I'm I'm here. Are you Are you just going to ignore me? <laughs> okay. I talk to myself a lot when I'm home. It's not like anyone can hear me. In the living room, my voice echoes as if there are two me talking in unison. But I'm the sole resident of his house, of course. That's just how it is when I come home. Uh huh. I'm pathetic. Aww. No, you're not. Or maybe you are. Or maybe you're not. Don't feel so bad about yourself. Oh no, this map. I remember this background. 
I arrive at the meetup stop 10 minutes early. Nathan must be finishing up his work, I'll wait for him. He's very punctual, not a minute late, not a minute early. What if we pick the other 4 p.m.? 3 p.m.? Huh? What's wrong with. I don't understand. I'm just gonna go with 1 p.m. Hmm? Routine is very important to him. I think that's why he works at the library. Nathan has a very hard time when something goes wrong in his day. Like the first time we met. Oh, oh no. Where? Where? I haven't taken a different path to the mall that day. It was unusual that I'd be there on a specific day. Are you alright? That's when I spotted someone wandering around an alley in circles. I... Where's the station? The train station? That's to the west. It's a 30 minute walk. Uh, oh. What do I do? I can't... Here, order a cab. The first thing I did was offer him money. Probably more than he need for a ride to the station. It's always my first instinct in thing to do so. I don't know how to... No, keep your money. And why are you offering me money? I'm a total stranger. You don't know how to call a cab? Oh, mm hmm Sorry, that was too blunt. Where do you live? Simazawa Suna Street 252. 252. I have to be home before 6 or I'll be late to dinner and I can be late to dinner or else I won't sleep before 9 and... He was so distressed I couldn't he leave him here. Listen, I'll accompany you to the station. I started to calm down a bit as I talked with him but he was still troubled. I don't want to be a bother. It's not a bother. I never even heard of Simazo before so at first I was wondering if I was confused about that too. Do you remember your name? Nathan Ambers. I'm Izuki Sato. I don't know back then that Nathan would become such an important part of my life. Okay, I'll trust you, Izuki. But if you heard me, I'll stick my detective friend on you. Okay. Sorry, what? You have a detective friend? I guess you do. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh no, <laughs> not this house. I swear it when he got lost again, so I committed him all the way to his doorstep. The two are right to see myself pass by in the flesh as we talk about first things. Not much about ourselves, but rather about the people are not. Thank you for helping me. I was lost in Tokyo, but he could find his way through this strange village just fine. It's no problem. I mean, he will be living here for a long time, you know, like... Mm -hmm. How can I pay you? The train tickets and time you lost, I come, I come money. Me. Consider you showing me your awesome people watching school payment in now. I had fun my way here. Nathan could read the black book. He was able to guess whether someone was married, where they came from, and why they were on the train. I called his bluff and personally went to talk to them, and he was right. Are you one of these psychic detectives? No, I'm not. It's just something you do. You can guess where someone's going by paying attention to their body language and compare it to the place the train stop at. What? Okay. If they are very relaxed, it means their stop is somewhere farther away. As for where they are from, I tried to listen in for accents and mannerism, and the marriage thing is just me looking for wedding rings on their fingers. I made a joke, but he gave me a serious answer. It got me a guard. Plus, being a detective sounds very stressful, it gives me the shiver just thinking about it. Yeah. Oh, I got an idea. Wait here, I'll be right back. It's really okay, you don't need to give me anything. Too late. Ta-da! I made this just yesterday. Ignoring my protest, I didn't give me, gifted me a box of cookies. They look delicious. I could then possibly... Yes, you could. You could. Nay, nah, you came all the way here, it's alright, you get to take some good goodies home. Well, alright. Yay! Uh-huh. 
I thought it would be the last time we would see each other. That it was a chance meeting and nothing more. But I was wrong. Here we are! After being up Nathan, I drove us to the movie theater in Oakwood Town. I'll get us the tickets. I'll buy the popcorn then. It's alright, I invited you, to, and we invited you out, so I'll pay. Nope, you can stop me. Uh huh. Nathan. La 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 la. Can hear you. There he goes. He's so cute. I think I wouldn't have met him if, if I hadn't chosen to take a different path that day. I wonder if it can have movie just for us to watch. This I don't to watch the movie. This theater is very tiny, there are only two or, th two or three other people watching with us. Oh, interesting. Nathan chose a very unique movie. It's a murder mystery following the story of a protagonist who lost their loved one to an unknown murderer. As she tries to get the piece of the puzzle together, she realizes the man she loved was nothing like she thought he was. The end of the story was approaching and couldn't peel my eyes away from the screen. Nathan did say before that he enjoyed mystery stories. I wonder if he's watched this before. Uh huh. The movie ended with a twist. The protagonist find out that she never had a relationship with a man in the first place. It was all something she confessed herself, or as she watched him from a day to day, she got an entire relationship in her head. She had been in an accident several years ago, causing a serious case of amnesia. She completely forgot that she has, uh, had already been rejected by him several times before. Of course, she was shocked that the man was different than she remembered. There were no memories of the true him at all. <laughs> Where? Okay. Now, I don't think he's seen this movie before. It's too... Too sad. It's okay. As the credit begins to roll, I held his hand tight. Sniffle. He squeezed my hand back. I didn't let go. It was a good movie. Nathan, more like butt hand. Yeah. As we left the movie theater, our hands were still linked together. Neither of us made any movement to stop. There was no reason to. Izuki. Yeah. This is the first time we ever held hands, isn't it? I'm not remembering it wrong. You're right. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to stop by somewhere and get some food? Sh sure, it's still early, so I... Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. I had to return to Tokyo after our dinner. Of course, we couldn't stay like that forever. I want to spend more time with him. Izuki, stop that. Stop whining. Stop asking for attention. Stop talking to yourself. You're embarrassing us. Oof. Don't be weak. Be a man. You have a legacy to follow. That's twisted, isn't it? That's not right. I wonder how long it'll take for me to forget all that. A year, two years. Yeah, Izuki. Never. Empathetic. The following day, after a disturbing dream, I begin to plan our next day. I'm used to having weird dreams, this one get in my way. Nathan and I decided to meet up at the usual breakfast place this time. I'll walk in immediately head to his usual table. Nathan, hey! Who lives in this waffle house? 
Salamora, hello. As. As it. Oh, ho, baby shark. Woohoo. As too. Salamora Greenhand. Yeah, it's such a story, Hassan Tokyo. See the fancy window? Uh huh. White Waffle Zal goes out to kick the rubber butts. I say home reading. And the next boyfriend of five years. Yet it happened. I'm not a cop anymore, you know. The guy he was almost engaged to. No, silly, it's make believe. Right. Jeez, Zal, you don't know how to play. I'm just being silly. I'm completely fine with the fact that he's here making Nathan eyes shine like he always does. Yep, that's cool with me. I have to get back to Tokyo. Micah waiting for me. Oh. That's okay, is that a new friend? Uh, uh, yeah. No, Nathan, my husband. You got married? I'll see you later. Oh, okay. But you have to tell me how the wedding went next time. Sure. As Elamora moved to get up, or I smashed. Izuki. Salamora. It was Salamora who told me about Nathan's relationship with him. He is a good friend to him. Izuki. I'll leave you two to it. Nathan told me you're going to the zoo. That's right, we're going to pet the rabbits. He helps him out a lot from what I've been told, yet yeah, that's all. And take pictures of red pandas, even if they stop us. Have fun, see you around. Zalmor left quickly, he hasn't been coming to see Nathan much lately. I think he wants to see the zoo too. Yeah, indeed. But he said pigeons keep pooping on his hair, so he's avoiding in places with tons of animals. With that guy locked, the entire animal kingdom will go after him, huh? <laughs> oh, god damn it. They, uh, poor, poor Zalmora. Hey, Izuki. Yeah? Do you want to take some of us to go? I already made some steak for us, but I have a question. Do you know who Zal is? Uh huh. Who he is? You mean. Like, how do I know him? I can't find anything about it in my notes. Oh. You should ask him next time. I never know what to say when he brings that up. Nathan only remembers the affection he had for Zalmora, not any of the memories they shared and created together. Even though they were together for 5 years and almost got engaged to each other. He said we were friends in high school, but I don't remember anything about it. Zalmora has moved on, but Nathan has no memories to move on from. Oh well, everyone say high school sucks anyway. Ah, yeah it does. I was glad we didn't end it. I shouldn't get too depressed about this, Nathan is holding up fine. Shall we get going after we finish these waffles? Yeah. It's much better even with all the struggle he's facing. It's one of the parts of him I like the most. Wow, the line to get inside is huge! Nathan gets out the line to enter zoo. It looks like we've been there for half an hour just waiting. We should be able to get in quick once we show them our tickets. Wait, tickets? I bought them online, here we go. I'm used to buying my things online so I don't have to wait in lines. But Nathan looks shocked. It's okay, I told you I can buy them on my own, aren't this premium? Don't worry about it, it's worth it so we can spend more time together. More time together. It, you, you could just pay Izuki, right? You know? Really? Yeah. I took Nathan's hands in mine. Your hands warm. Yours too. Hehe. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time letting it go today. Okay, let's go sh show our tickets then. It's a rhino! A dolphin! Oh my god, why am I so excited? It's just pictures of zoo. Elephant? Oh, no, okay. Nathan and I stopped by to see every animal that we could find. We decided to leave our herd once for last, for last to build up our excitement even if we get tired. Snack time! We've been making regards to the nursing as much as we can, this place is huge. 
Will you have more for me this time? Nathan brought plenty of food and water on the back of his stew. He made all of snack himself. Need the sandwiches? Here, open wide. Uh huh? Eat it, eat it. Say ah. Uh. I can feel my cheeks sitting up. There are so many people that are nuts. I am. Ah. Uh. Yummy? Cho cho. Everything you make is yummy. Oh, shucks. I must get revenge. Your turn now. Okay, uh. What? It's not fair that he doesn't even stop to think about it. Izuki? Here you go. He's so, so cute. We'll look around for a bit longer, taking pictures of the animals and chatting. Look, that kid has a head with a monkey patch on. Cute, they must be selling merchandise nearby. I don't know what they have for sale. Oh, over there. There was a kiosk filled with various pieces of merchandise sort of the zoo and it's animal for sale. From dinkers to plushies to clothes and headwear, they put all the stops. I shall get Nathan something cute. I want him to know I appreciate him. What shall I buy? Snuggly bunny plushie, frog themed calendar, twin panic keychains. Calendar? As for the calendar theme with little frogs, Nathan might like it. Do you have a calendar in your room? I have my digital one. Then here you go. Froggy is so cute. Wait, for me? Yeah, you could write down your schedule to know what to do when you wake up at a glance. And our gift? I can accept that. I'm buying it for you, it's to remember today's date. Cheese, alright. You like frogs too, right? I do, hehehe. <laughs> I'm happy he likes to give. Hey, Zuki. Oh, oh. Hmm? Why do you buy me so much stuff? I don't know how to repay you. Like, the tickets must have been so expensive, I wouldn't be able to buy something, to buy you something like that. You don't have to pay me, it's real alright. And I buy you things because I like you. If you say so. This is just how I'm used to doing things. It's how I was raised to show that I care, I suppose. I wonder if Nathan knows that I'm... How about we go to see the panda snakes? No, I shouldn't talk about that now. Today is supposed to be a fun day. Okay, red panda sign. Woohoo! That's not pandas. Okay. Wow, what a weird looking pandas. After we walked around for a little longer, Nathan went to take a bathroom break. I waited outside for him. It's been hours since we got here, but the zoo is still full of fa people, families, fam families, couples. A lot of kids too. Sniffle. Oh, ah, mommy. Oh, it's the kid who was earlier with the hat. Where are his parents? Hey, are you okay? I lost my mommy. Stop. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not good with kids. I never know how to act around them, much less comfort them. What shall I do? I can leave him here alone. He's too upset. Sup. Open my wallet to <laughs> this Go along, kid. Here's $50. Shoo shoo. Um, don't cry. Here. Sniffle. Mister, I don't want that. Oh, sorry, I. Uh, uh, mommy. I made him cry harder, but I don't know what else to do. This is just how. Oh. Yeah, understandable. Oh my, what's wrong, buddy? Luckily, Nathan showed up right then and let us say for real. He's lost. Hey, I want my I want my mommy. Oh, you must be so scared. Can you tell me your name? And what's your mom's? Wow, you're holding a lot of cash there. Did your mom leave it with you? No. Also, profile's time. Nathan. Nathan Ambers, January 1st, 29 years old, librarian of Simazos General Library, making people watching good things, loud music, his forgetfulness, insects. He's a good boyfriend, bubbly and positive, plus because with his memory. After many failed attempts at getting his job, he now works as a librarian. Now he had a pass with Zalamora and enjoy his visits, but doesn't try to pray. He wants to live a quiet life. He met Izuki in Chum and fell in love with his kindness and cuteness. Trivia, he got his job thanks to a former friend, Mom, who took him in. 
and stomach horror or any kind of violence involving guns, even fiction. Dependent, he wears belong to his sister Michelle. Ah, interesting. Isaac Sato, November 28, 29 years, 29 years old, paranormal podcaster, likes alien gorillas, birds. He's like many things to smell of lavender clouds. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Nathan boyfriend, boyfriend, what? Boyfriend, work as a successful paranormal. Oh, that's not a type? No? Isn't it? Paranormal podcaster, though lately he's been recording less often as he travels to see Mazar to see Nathan. Comes from a well off family, but he was raised mostly by nannies. By his parents, he was taught that money equaled affection. His chance meeting with Nathan led him to discovering such himself that he didn't know, and he fell in love with the other man. Kefia lives in a huge four bedroom house. It feels a bit lonely. He runs to the Bobo and Tim's while out in Shimazawa, hasn't revealed his face to his podcast fans yet, and what? Podcast fans yet, as he doesn't want to go with the fame. Uh huh. Hey, let's go talk to the nice little lady and ask if she can help us out. Give me your hand. Oh, okay. Why uh not? -huh. After talking to a few people, Nathan eventually managed to find the kid's mom. I feel so useless. This thing that he's just said come natural to him while I... Everyone has their own flaws. And it's part of what makes us beautiful, you know? It's okay. Well, I'm so glad he got reunited with his family. I yeah. I gave a kid cash and expected him to stop crying for his mom. Of course, it wouldn't work. Maybe it would work. Who knows? We deal with all other people's differently, you know? Is okay, are you okay? Um, yeah, I just, I mean, if I get lost and I get offered money, I will be happy to accept it. See? Is it about the money thing? The mom insisted that, insisted that I take my money, but the money back. It was awkward and I got that from the way she spoke that she was wondering why in the world I even did that. Nathan too. You, of all people. Okay. Like, don't, don't judge. Every, everyone has their own way to deal with things, okay? I'm so lame. I'm sorry I had to see me like that. I suck at this. Nathan stayed quite for a second and turned to look at me. Is it okay if I ask you why you gave him money and why you buy me so many gifts? You don't have to buy me expensive things. I already like you for the way you are. I took a deep breath. I don't like talking about this. Is the calendar? No, it get expensive. But this is Nathan. Maybe it'll go differently than how I imagine. Okay, I shall tell him. I did that because, um, that's why what my parents will do when I needed them. Give you things? Yeah. Cash, they find a way to solve a problem around them like that. Not with any with words or affection, but rather, yeah. I didn't exactly get to learn how to confront people any other way. I let it alongside. I'm trying to unlearn a lot of things that they taught me. But it's been such a large part of my life ever since I was born, I feel like it's a fool. I never talk about this out loud with anyone before. My dad would always tell me that a man can show weakness, that being vulnerable is something to be avoided. I'm very aware of my own shortcomings. I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable with the tickets. I don't know any other way to show Nathan that I care about him. Sorry I'm not cool at all. I don't want Nathan to see pathetic sides of me. I've ruined our fun date with this talk, haven't I? A sunset felt like, in like it encompassed hours and hours went by. I was ready for Nathan to say that he wants to go home and never see me again. I don't want that. I really don't want that. But his response was completely different. Is it better that I like it when you're uncool? What? what Nathan word broke me out of my spiral of thoughts. I like that you also have moments where you don't know what to do. You're always so cool and stuff, I was wondering if I was the only one with struggles. Nathan. My, my problems are very easy to see. Yours a bit more hidden, huh? That doesn't... That doesn't, what? Doesn't that make me pathetic? 
No, that makes you human silly. Actually, good. Good one, Nathan. <laughs> good one, actually. I never thought about it like that. That's part of what makes us human. You tried to help the kid anyway, you knew too. That's not lame. Yeah, that, exactly. That, that was what I was saying. It would have been lame if you just ignored him. That's the kind of guy I wouldn't want to date. Uh, not really. Maybe some people have their own circumstances, you know? Even I understand, right? Some people are just too afraid of what to do with kids, you know? It's not them to blame. We can really tell what people have in mind in situations. Except, of course, some politicians, like, we can't really tell that they are responsible. <laughs> Nathan paused and scratched his neck, he looked away and bit his lower lip. Last year and I had different experiences and bringings. It might just be me being weird, but I find that... His eyes met mine again. I realized that then that I wasn't the only one with red cheeks. Attractive. W what's attractive? Fla being... Being flawed? Okay. Oh. It's so warm here. My heart's beating out of my chest. I never had someone say something like that to me before. Did they like me not only for my good points, but my flaws too? I mean, yeah. There are a lot of things I'm bad at. I'm not very good with emotions or knowing what's acceptable in certain situations. That's okay, I like learning new things about you. Me. Me too. I didn't expect that having someone learn about my uncool side would feel this nice. It's getting late. Wanna see the red pandas again? But we haven't pet the rabbits yet. We can do it later, the pandas will cheer you up. Uh huh. How come you are so wonderful? I'm not. You are? You too, Izuki. You're a wonderful guy, warts and all. W warts? Okay. Um, <laughs> bunny. It was the almost closing time. Nathan and Harris to bunny rushed to the bunny petting area. We were given instruction on how to, how, on how to touch and track with the bunnies. Izuki, look! Nathan was having the time of his life. The rabbits were pretty much coming to him on their own. Oh, you're all you're all white and fluffy, and you're like a tabby kitten. Here, bunny, come here. But I had no interest in me. The person who takes care of them told me to try and bribe them with food, but they aren't interested. They are crazy for Nathan attention. He's a bunny whisperer. This one's the most friendly. Try feeding him, Mizuki. Alright, maybe the others are less social. Here, good bunny, comes eat the snack. He is approaching. Yes, that's right, I'm a friend. He hop away. <laughs> Goddamn. Bunnies don't like me. Oh, They don't like me. I'm immensely disappointed. Why don't bunnies like me? Do I smell? Just one pet would be enough to make me happy. Am I making a scary face? Hey, Nathan. Uh huh. Nathan caught me completely off guard. I wasn't expecting him to be the one to do it. Yeah, indeed. I had a whole plan of kissing him goodbye after I walked him home on our third date. As always, this surprised me in the best ways. Hey, hey, hey there's two CGs? Why here? We we're surrounded by, surrounded by antisocial rabbits, not what I had in mind for our first kiss at all. As I thought you were adorable. I gonna help myself. Do you hate it? No. It's perfect. Yay! Hey, you got a bunny. Look at that. Nathan and I left this the same way we came in, our hands linked together tightly. I'll drive you home. It's a long way to see I can take the train. I want to spend more time with you. Me too. Izuki, can you do me a favor? Anything. Tomorrow I might not remember today at all any of it. So please remind me of how fun the day where we had our first kiss once. Of course, as many times as you need. Thank you. 
Let's go home. Tape experiment with choices to earn achievements. I already know that. Hello, game. Huh. When it comes to murders, I don't like when ghost conspiracies, conspiracies become part of the public theory. Oh, what is that? I find it, and forgive me speaking over you, I find it disrespectful. Oh, yes, a background CG. It's like its voice. Interesting. You can believe in the existence of supernatural in other ways. Look at that. Oh, it's a Snorlax. That's, that's Pokemons, right? Oh, that's, those are the squeeds. I know it. And the, look at that. I love that. I love them all. Post long cap. I don't know what that is. Hoots. You can believe in the existence of the supernatural in other ways. We've discussed before how they show themselves to us in small ways. Look, or it's just in, odd enough to cause you would wonder. And sometimes, yes, we are visited by not so friendly spirits. But when it comes to victim of tribal accident, crimes, murders, don't be disrespect disrespectful. I've seen people do things like connect the victim families or law enforcement to prove that the incident was supernatural in, supernatural in nature. We can be passionate about our supernatural experience in other ways. We're starting our QA segment. Our first question is from... Is it he? Hi. Our next date was supposed to be to the beach. However, Nathan insisted that he wanted to bake for me and invited me to his house. Come on in, the cookies are still warm. I have to admit, I'm a bit anxious. I've never gone to a fresh house before, ever. But he's just going to show me his baking skill, that's all. Right? These are chocolate chips, those are NNNs. <laughs> okay. And this has strawberry flavoring. But wow, that's a lot of food. Indeed. Nathan dinner table was with pastries and there were more still in the open. This? This is Nathan's house? I thought this was your house, Izuki. God damn. Okay, Nathan, what picture is that? I can't really see it. Nathan dinner table was filled with pastries and there were more still in the oven. The smaller ones are experimental. I don't know if they are good now. They look delicious. May I? Not this. Eat the ones that are 100% yumminess testified first. Alright, I'll listen to the chair. Hmm, what's happening with my throat? Good. Okay, it's cupcake starts. Okay, my throat is having a weird moment. BRB. Okay, I think it works now. Okay, it's cupcake starts, cheesecakes, mini pies. This is enough to hit a whole party. So, who else is coming? It's just you. What? You made all of this food for me? Nathan, that's amazingly sweet of you, but I can't eat all of this. I know. I got excited because you were coming over and I couldn't sleep. Really? And you made all of this? I've been making since dawn. I put your podcast on while I bag, and before I knew it, I had a kitchen full of pastries. <laughs> Amazing. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. I want to squeeze him tight. Oh my god, okay. You like my podcasts? <laughs> Yeah, I don't really understand everything, but I like what he said about respecting victims. That's that's cool. That's amazing. That one? Oh, that episode was a tough one. I think that discussion is what sparked the podcast rise to fame, but I'm always nervous when people I know get to it. It's when my listener really lost an epic. Then I'm actually serious about believing in the supernatural, I'm just hosting a post pod about it for fun. Hey, it up. I want to know which one's your favorite. Where do I start? Uh, there are so many options. Mini, mini apple pies. These apple pies look good. Munch, munch, munch. You're eating a pie? Yes, not just any pie. An apple pie. Choo choo, yeah, it looks yummy. Never mind, it is yummy. The consistency of the pie itself is amazing. The apple feeling melts in my mouth. I think I cannot mess them up a little though. Just, I haven't got any achievement yet, which is like strange. No way, it's good. You're only saying that because you've tested them a milli million times. Hey, hey, maybe that's it. After serving ourselves with delicious sweets, Nathan and I sat down in the couch profile. Hmm. 
I've noticed his memory is getting better. He can remember the past, but he doesn't forget who I am anymore. At first, I had to introduce myself every single time we went on that diner over and over again. The diner's owner and the people who helped Nathan get his job explained his situation to me when they realized I was serious about befriending him. Before I knew it, I began to grow a crush on him. Izuki, when was it that you started coming to the diner every day? Art, you remember that? The diner's owner told me. W well, I... When Nathan keeps forgetting me from one day to the other, I uh, had some not very proud moments. Uh oh. Hey, mind if we sit with you? Who are you? Your dream come true. Oh, uh, no. No. Uh huh. I had a nightmare last night. So sorry to hear that. No. Awful flirting. Another? Another? Hey, Mizuki. Do I know you? No, but you're going to want to after I buy you your wa buy you your waffles. You need to build your waffle house, right? How do you know I built waffle house? Are you a stalker? Basically. No, I. Heck, you are. Get away from me, stalker. Really awful flirting. Another one. Hey there. I see you like making Waffle House. Yeah, I do. You're having trouble with the roofing, right? I'm something of a Waffle House, waffle house connoisseur myself. Mind if I try? Oh, no. What did you do? Uh, sorry. You... You're in- you're in Waffle's house! I hate you! It took me too, lo too long to stop taking advice from internet threats. <laughs> Things only started to go right when I laid it out, go and take the natural run here. Sigma rule number one. Always destroy your boyfriend's Waffle's house. Okay, your partner's Waffle house. Hey, you know, I always remember how much I like you, even when I, I can recall your face. Oh, my efforts work out in the end, then. Efforts. Never mind. Maybe it's better that he doesn't remember the Waffle incident. Oh, I wanted to ask you something about your podcast. What is it? You know a lot about ghosts, right? You study them? Not exactly study them, but I like researching ghost sighting. Yeah. Then. Do you think that ghosts follow their loved ones around after they die? Like hauntings? I don't think they haunt them. I like to believe they go to check up on their families and such from time to time instead. That sounds nice, but... What about, about the people they hate? Do they come back to them too? Nathan making that face again. The one that tells me he's about to remember something but doesn't want to dig any further. What brought discussion on? I don't know, um... Actually, don't answer that. It's okay. I'll... I'll go get us drinks. Nathan. I can bear seeing him like that. What happened in his past? What kind of horrible event caused his mind to shut itself away from the memories? Nathan, wait! Izuki? It's not a place to ask or demand that he remember everything. All ghosts have to move on at some point. It might take them months, years, decades, but in the end they'll be freed from whatever it is that's keeping them here. I... I see. If a person was hunted by ghosts, then I'm sure that the ghost will eventually forgive them. How, how long though? Especially if that person showed the ghost that they have changed and made amends. What I can do is support him as much as I can. You really think so? I know so. Thanks. Thank you, Izuki. Come on, hand me that tea. 
I know what I was getting when I asked him out. That where, that where will be diff, that, huh? That there will be difficult days, and days where he can recall me. That's all right. I like him for the way he is. A few minutes later, we went back to the living room. The tea Nathan made is good for digestion, he said. I think he feels bad for feeding me so much food. Uh, um. Nathan looked me up and down, scratching his neck. I looked at him, blinking. Wink, wink. Can I say a very embarrassing thing? Sure, tell me. You won't laugh? Not if you don't laugh at any of my own embarrassing confessions. Haha, uh -huh. right. He took a deep breath. Um, I... Another deep, deep breath, followed by a sigh. At some point, it became the first thing I think of, of when I wake up. Uh-huh. So I can't forget you anymore, I don't think. Your face and voice are like, engraved in my brain. Say something. I'm self combusting here and... It tastes like sugar. God damn. Did I skip something? No, I didn't. Oh. Haha. <laughs> so do you. Does it mean you don't think I'm a weirdo? No, I am happy that you care so much about me. Hooray, hey hey hey. Can I convince something to you too? Yeah? After eating all this awesome food you made today, I have to confess that. I can't cook at all. Wow. Seriously they can, it's chronic. It's okay. I grew up with parents who would hire other people to cook for us or order takeout for from whatever restaurant they could find. You you've never eaten homemade meal from your mom? No, I've never seen either of my parents ever touch a kitchen sink. I might have inherited inherited their lack of skills, haha. Uh -huh. Mom that I live alone, all I eat is take out rice and prepackaged food. And even the rice I manage to mess up sometimes. Are you for real? What about your veggies? Veggie veggies? W what are those? Well, I don't know how to make them tasty any. That's bad. You have to eat healthy food. I bet your takers are all junk food and greasy fried meals. Hell yeah. You'll discharge. This is terrible. I'll outlive you because of your bad eating habits. He sounds really stupid. What? Really upset? Outlive me? Why do, why do I say stupid? Uh, Nathan. Say right here, I have a sour salt in the fridge you can take home. I'll let me get the mixer and ready up a vegetable juice. You really don't have to. Stay right there, mister. You're not leaving this house without taking some decent food home. Alright, alright. Then alright, me. Promise me you'll take better care of yourself. Uh, I'll be a good boy. I had no idea he had this boss, this boss aside. Good, wait here. Uh huh. I wonder how many sites of Nathan I'll get to know next. A lot. Lots of them. I want to know everything. I want to spend more time with him. And I think he wants to see me. I haven't earned any achievement so far, which is really interesting. Oh, podcast again. I remember when I realized that my family was normal. I finally found others who thought like me, people that hurt me out regardless of how well I behave or how my grades went. I built relationships with people who didn't want any money, my money or my connections. They were the first one to notice. Your family is cold. Are you really okay having a dad like that? Your mom doesn't hug you at all. I don't know how to respond. That was just how my home was like. I... I just wanted them to listen. I'm right here. Why you won't look at me? Someone noticed me. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, it's a train. Why do you... Why do you believe in supernatural? Well, fairy petals... That's a long story. I've never talked about... About it here before. 
If you've been here for a while, you know I've had share of meetings with the supernatural, but it's not the only reason why I believe. When I was younger, I went through a few situations that left me feeling assaulted and misunderstood. There's so many people reference here, huh? It was only after I grew up and researched the community surrounding one of my favorite offices that I feel like I had somewhere I belong. That's why I created this community, and that's why I ultimately, I ultimately believe in ghosts and aliens, strange creatures, legends. Whatever you believe me or think I'm a lunatic, I hope you'll consider exploring the world of the supernatural with me. If not for the curiosity, then for the change of finding a place where you can be yourself without any barriers. Interesting. This has been the Minute Ghost Boat. Thank you for listening, and I hope to hear from you all again next time. Next week. Uh oh, it's raining. Nathan! Weeks went by since the day I visited Nathan's house. We went on a lot of dates, we made many plans for the future, and created memories that I never thought I had. The past couple of days, I had to stay home for work here in Tokyo. Hi. But that day, I met up with Nathan at the train station. He traveled from Shimazawa to Tokyo this time. Sorry, I'm late. This rain came out of nowhere. I don't have an umbrella. I had to run over here. Our next date was going to be at the amusement park here. Nathan had been looking forward to it for weeks. But I had to close the entire area due to this horrible storm. It's okay, we'll run real fast till we get till we we'll get your car. Race you there? What? Wait, you'll get soaked. We rush the car. We are so so soaked. This stone part is crazy. Ha ha ha! You're you're having fun. I mean, we ran here, under the pouring rain. We didn't even stop to maybe look for a place to buy an umbrella. You, you're you right. Haha, <laughs> why did we do that? I don't know. Right? You didn't stop me. I didn't. I... Hahaha. <laughs> What's wrong with us? A lot of things, apparently. Let's get into me. I could have easily asked Nathan to solve anything about it logically. Hahaha. <laughs> ha. Ha. I'm so. My clothes are a mess, my hair is all sticky, and I'll start to get cold in a second. That will kill me if you saw me like this. I'll get the car started. We need to hurry home and get a change of clothes. Hey, hey. alright. My house is a few minutes away from the station, but the rain caused a huge car pile up all over the city. Have you ever done that before, Izuki? Nathan was quiet for a few minutes while I drove. He spoke up and I looked at him. Run in the rain cause you're in rush. Just let yourself go and do something a bit nuts. No, I can't remember doing anything like that. My sister and I used to do- Okay, my throat is acting up again, barely. My sister and I used to do this on our way home from school and rain. We always target them at school so we race each other and run as fast as we can. Oh, our mama must get so mad, she chew us out every single time, but we never learn our lesson. You remember your family? Nathan had never talked about them before. I know he had a sister called Michelle, but... I do. I remember my childhood, my middle school, elementary school, middle school. It's starting from my last year of high school that I just couldn't recall anything. He let out a weak laugh. I could tell it was an upsetting subject to for him. I was lucky to have Michelle with me growing up. She helped me to see the fun side of life even when it got tough. The hygiene she got into never felt to make me laugh out loud. Nathan. Do you know why I'm telling you this? Nathan Pauls. That's expecting me to respond, but I didn't know what to say. I'm sorry, I don't know. Is it good today was the first time I ever heard you laugh out loud? Ah. Izuki makes me laugh a lot, but I still haven't seen him let go. I have it noted down. It's a pattern day after day. Nathan showed me notes on his phone. Every day it had the same comments at the end. 
Still haven't heard Izuki laugh out loud. Lol. Think of ways to get Izuki to listen up. I wonder if Izuki doesn't feel comfortable to laugh around me. I... I didn't realize. I'm so happy that you let go your, let yourself go today. After seeing you laugh like that, I think I might have fallen for you a little bit more. I... Looking back, I didn't have many opportunities to be a kid. I let myself get in trouble, make mistakes, everything was almost so proper. Medical, almost. Ah, damn it. I was so shaken by my friend commander that I didn't realize the cars were starting to move again. I can hear my dad's voice in my head. Don't get emotional, don't be weak, that's not how I raise you. But I don't feel like this was a mistake. I'm glad that Nathan helped me realize all this. Izuki, did I say too much? No, you just said it. You said just now. Thank you for noticing me. That's my line. Thank you for noticing me, Izuki. Another podcast. When we arrive, oh, okay. The first thing Nathan wanted to see was the room where I do my recordings. Awesome, this is where the legendary ghost does his magic. You really become a fan, huh? I love listening to your podcast. It's always a wild ride, but at the same time, your voice is soothing. What episode are you on? I should have a new one this Thursday instead of Tuesday. I'll stop at the one where you explain how you started the podcast. Ah, uh, he's he has almost covered up. I get a bit personal in that one. I don't usually talk about myself when I'm ghost. No, it's more like I never do that. Ghost is a mask. Thanks, see, it was a great episode. Um, what do you say? I don't show my face and no one knows that it's me behind the voice, but... I'll let myself be vulnerable to my entire audience for the first time. Nothing, wanna see the new merch I have coming up? Yes, please. Your house huge, what do you do with all those rooms? Nothing, they're getting dust most of the time. That sounds lonely. Achoo! Are you cold? Let me get you a towel. Uh, achoo, thanks. Oh, where's your kitchen? Over there, down the hallway to the right. Just, uh, don't judge it too bad. I don't know anything about cooking. I'm already judging. Haha, uh, I'll be right back. I'm totally judging. I bet he doesn't have any seasonings. <laughs> okay. I was horrified horri horri inside of Izuki's abandoned kitchen. What in the world is this? I've never seen a kitchen so empty. And the fridge is just sad. I don't see any fruits around. Someone's got to teach this guy how to take care of himself. Who is this guy? He spoils me too much, always, so much, I have to wonder if he spends any energy on himself. Not just his diet, but everything. I don't exactly have a model bring either, most of what I know comes from helping raise Michelle. Izuki helped me so much, I want to do the same for him. I have to tell Izuki that I want to help him out. Where is he? Uh-huh. Where? Which way was the living room again? Down on the hallway to the... Huh? Huh. Oh. You're lost. I can't... I don't remember. When was... When did Izuki hit me for the first time? Has he done that? Did I do that? Our first kiss, how did we met? Meet. Have I told him about Michelle Pendan? Does he know why I like baking? How was... How I was in middle school? The people I was friend with? When was it that I fell in love with him? Have I even told him that? Does he know? Why can I remember such important things? I can't remember. I don't know how to get back to him. I don't know. Why am I here? Why? 
I don't know, Nathan. Why are you there? Nathan, you alright? No? <laughs> not at all. He's not here. Nathan? A shiver went down on my spine. Something was wrong. Oh no. Nathan. I let her safe relief. I was scared he would had wandered off. What happened? You're shaking. Nathan was standing in the middle of the hallway looking from side to side. His chest was heaving. He must be cold. His hair dripping all over his face. His clothes too. We need to take a shower and change clothes. I get lost. His word, words were but a whisper, almost inaudible. I could not remember which way to go. He repeated it several times. Once I got it, I rushed to his side. It's a huge house. It's alright. I put the towel over his head. I need to dry it as much as it could. It's cold. What are you feeling? Anxious? Sad? Angry? I'm sorry I can't do much else than this, but I can bear to see you so shaky. Stupid. What? I'm stupid. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassing. Anyone else you could have invited over wouldn't have gotten lost. It's a huge house, it's fine. Nathan, and you're also here for the first time. It's a problem only I have. No, it's not. Looking at his feet, he refused to meet my eyes. The towel was not doing much to help dry his hair, but what else do I do? I don't... I'm sorry I'm like this. I can't remember. Don't say that, please. You shall be with someone else, someone smart and good. Stop it, Nathan, listen to me. He doesn't understand. Sniffle. S sorry, sorry I'm like this. You can't see how much I appreciate him, how much he means to me. But I'm not... I'm not normal, I... Nathan. Sob. He... Look here, look at me. I... Izuki. He finally looked up at me. The tears running down his cheeks made my heart break. You don't understand, that's not what I was thinking at all. The only person I want in my house is you. Why? Sit down with me, come here. Shh, it's okay, I got you. Stop. I made Nathan some tea and set him down on the couch. His breathing was going back to normal and stopped shaking. Izuki. I know Nathan's different, I know his struggle just like any other person. And I know he might never fully recover. Drink your tea. Okay. I've known it for a long time. Do you know what you're getting into? Zalmar confronted me straight away. The first time we met, he looked like he was ready to beat me up. I could see it in his eyes. His protectiveness over Nathan, they passed together. Earned our fourth time meeting, he said that with me and gave me big speech. His big speech. Nathan will never recover. What? What do you mean? He'll never become lucid. You can fix him. Oof. So if they have any heroic intentions, dream of saving him or any other delusion, stay away from him. Nathan likes you, he talks about you all the time, even though for the past three years he couldn't retain anything I told him. He's smiling more, he has wishes again, he has things he wants to do that are outside his schedule. You've changed him a lot, that's why I'm warning you. If you hurt Nathan, I'll personally go after you and make your life hell, do you understand? The distance between Zelmar Greenham and I was kilometric. I had a million questions running in my hand, too many things I needed answers to. How do you know that he won't recover? I said before that question. Please don't ask me that. And just like that, he shut me off. This is why I don't like him as much as I want to. It's clear that Zelmar knows something about Nathan's memory loss. Just, do you understand? If you really like him, if you really care for him as much as you say you do, then tell me that you accept Nathan for the way he is. This man full of secrets, the only person in Nathan's life who could remind him of the things he forgot. But he chose not to. 
why I may never know. I... I didn't know if I'd be able to do what he asked. It's not like a family and my past relationships were affectionate or helpful. I was in no way the ideal person to be by Nathan's side. I do. But I said yes. Interesting. Because I love him. Nathan. Because I don't know the past Nathan, I don't know the person he is now. I want to pr make a promise with you. Let's make tons of memories, happy ones, funny ones, even embarrassing ones. Memories of us running in the, in the rain like children, getting in trouble, or allowing ourselves to make silly mistakes. We'll go on dates, to the movies, the zoo, the beach, the mountains, the flower fields, anywhere you want, I'll take you there. We'll make all kinds of memories. Even though that even if you remember the past one day, you still have good, enough good memories to go on. Enough, sorry. But, but, but what if I forget everything? What if one day I wake up and I don't know, don't even, don't know even know who I am? I don't even know who I am? One day I may not, not know who you are, I might push you away, I might not want anything to do with you. I... I might become a completely different person. Nathan laid out a cut sob, one he must have been holding back since earlier. Then I'll remind you. I held his hand in mine tightly, I didn't have to convince him that I mean what I say. As many times as you need, over and over. He... Izuki? Don't cry, please. I'm just... Sob. I thought I, I thought I never find someone who accept me, who wants to stay with me. The person I am right now, and the person I was before. These thugs have been with me for so long I started to sob. I believe they were true. Oh, you're crying, huh? Nathan. Thank you for saying Zuki. For helping me, for being patient. Thank you. Hearing this word came out of Nathan's mouth. I couldn't stop myself from embarrassing him, embracing him. I don't know that he thought so lovely and lovely of himself. That the positive guy who never failed to cheer me up with his smile would believe that he was anything but a wonderful person. Oh, sorry, someone knocked on my door. Sniffle, our first hug. I then embarrassed him back to moving his hands to my sides. Yeah, our very first hug. That's why I'm not letting you go anytime soon. Your, you feel cold. Your hair is wet. Nathan brought his hands up to my head. He brushed away the hair sticking on my forehead and grimaced. Take care of yourself, please. From what I heard from you, the way you live, you weren't taught how to pressure yourself. I'm not talking just about the house or the food. Your feelings too. Take care of them. Please. I don't want to see you hurt. I will. I'll try. I may need a bit of help because I didn't really have. Me too. I may need help from you too. Hello, little soft love. In that way, I guess we both were messed up. A bit messed up. Yeah, does that mean we were made for each other? You believe in that kind of thing? I might. We stayed like that for a long time. Achievement? Where? But the spell was broken by the fact that we were still very very cold, soaked, and exa exhausted. Achoo! You shall take a shower. You're going to get a cold. No, no, you go first. You're soaked too. Uh huh. Will you go first, please? I insist, go first. Uh huh, what if? Nathan shook his head and looked down at the floor. I'm really embarrassed. Please? I'll drain myself off, I'll take a shower later. Well, I... Go take a shower! Alright, okay. I'm going.
Uh, I forgot to get a change of clothes. Nathan, could you get my clothes from the bedroom? Sure, where is... You really need to stand like that. Or the okay. Question mark. Um mm -hmm. Nathan? Um oh, Momo. I'll go get my clothes. No need. What? Never mind. There we go to see Where's the achievement? This road doesn't have any fucking achievement. What the hell? Huh? Am I, am I, am I being silly? What? We haven't got a single achievement from that road at all. I never really enjoyed traveling that much. What? My parents would bring bring me around to every corner of the country for business meetings. It wasn't fun. I hated it. Deck of taking a train or going on a train ride made me sick. But nowadays it's different. Simazel is a small village in the middle of nowhere surrounded by forests. So, isn't this? So, we live in a city, we try to come back here every weekend. We! It's a bit of a long trip, a couple hours by train, sometimes more depending on the weather. There's the reason why we make a long train from, trip, trip from Tokyo to this remote village. Hi, can I sit here? He used to sit at the right table near the big window every single day. Every morning at the sixth second time, he sat at the same table, ordered the same food, and read the same book. Izuki, Izuki! But not anymore. Look! It's our house! Oh, I can skip that. But yeah. That's. <laughs> Fucking hell, that nose is so tiny, I hate it. Yeah. See? See? Oh, okay, you cannot see my mouse, but like... Can I screenshot this? No, I cannot. God damn it. Well, anyway. Huh? Late Larry, money bags, smooth recovery, sweet food? Alone. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty easy. We just miss it a little, I guess. Let's do it again, shall we? The same 4 p.m. A few hours later, my phone rang. I think it was unusual, as I don't usually share my phone number. I immediately pick up when I saw the name on the caller. Ah, uh, hello, Nathan? Izuki, are you on your way? What? It's not... Are you not coming to the movies? Of course I am. But are you in Simazawa then? I'm home still. Did you forget? A cold chill went down my spine. It says here we were meeting up at 3 p.m. today near the old cafe. Our movie is at 3.20 to get the, from Tokyo to Simazawa is a two-hour ride. The movie ends at 5 p.m. If we eat before 5.30, I can get home before sundown. I look up the clock. It was 2.40 p.m. I should have left over one hour ago. Did I write it down wrong? No, you didn't get it wrong. You can say if it was me, I wouldn't be sad. Nathan is extremely met methodical when it comes to his schedule. That's why I couldn't be late. No, Nathan, it's not you. I'm the one who messed up. Wait, where are you? I can go pick you up and... Don't worry about me. I didn't prepare myself for leave now. I should have gotten ready hours ago. I'll drive to Mizu Simozawa. I'll find a way. Don't worry about me. I know you're busy. Oof. Nathan, wait. Well, let's start again later. I... How could I get it wrong? Hey, <laughs> sorry. I'm such a fool. Damn it. I have to call him back and apologize. There has to be another day we can go out. I can't keep messing up. Achievement unlocked! Yippee! Uh-huh. I'm really sorry. About what? The next day I came to him, so was Simazawa to apologize to Nathan personally. He was at the usual diner and he me like nothing had happened. 
for getting the time wrong yesterday. Time? Did something happen yesterday? What? Did he? No, he wouldn't do that. Nathan, what do you have in your notes from yesterday? Let me check the game. It's empty. I checked it when I woke up there and I thought it was weird. Oh no. Did, did something happen yesterday? Why didn't I write it down? He... Nathan. I messed up for time for that yesterday you were upset and regret to reschedule it today. Oh, oh, I see. How often does he do this? Have his future self forget things that he read or not remember? I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. It's alright, we can find another day to go together. A smile won't assure me I'm concerned. I have an idea, we should go to the zoo. I want to see the animals. Is this... No. Nathan. Maybe you should... Please, I want to pet the bunnies. Please. Only if you don't do that again. Don't purposefully stop yourself from writing about upsetting things, please. It's not good for his recovery. I worry about what other things he's trying to get himself to forget forever now. I didn't know I was doing it. I know. I'll be careful from now on. Okay. Skippable? No? Skip, skip, skip. After thinking about it a little more, I agreed to take Nathan to the zoo. I'll have to travel to another town to get you there. I won't make any mistake this time. Nathan is counting on me to help him get around safely. Skip. I'll have to take the train. Can you take it by yourself? I could come to see Mazawa and travel with you. Wait, why can't we escape? God damn it. No, I can't do it. The people from the station know me. It's a long ride, but it's shorter from Tokyo, right? You don't have to do a, to do a double trip just for me. I'm stronger than this. Alright then, you call me if anything happens, okay? Got it, Captain. We'll be meeting up on Saturday at the train station at which wing 10 a.m. I cannot get this wrong. I can't wait to see the bunnies. I'm looking forward to seeing the birds and the pandas. Somehow that sister like you, Izuki, you sure love birds. I think that zoo has tiny red pandas too. I want to see the red pandas. Do you think we can take pictures? I'll sneak some in even if they not, don't, don't let us. Okay, finally? No? Saturday arrived quickly. I'm meeting up with Nathan at the station today. He must be waiting for the train right now. I should check the train schedule just in case. Let's see. It says here the train he needs to take should be arriving in 10 minutes. Should I let him know? Or will it be too much? He did say he wanted to do it himself. What? Why is this entirely a different road? What the fuck? Send him the schedule? I messaged Nathan's screenshot of a train schedule. I've run the schedule out on the extra station is different, must be outdated. I'm worried. He needs to be careful or he'll get lost. It's okay, I'm fine, I cuff the train. Let's check the schedule I send you. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Alright, see you later. Yeah. But uh oh, I shall give him a call. He must be arriving by now. Izuki, Nathan, are you okay? Where I took the wrong train. Uh oh, I don't know where I'm going. I think the schedule they post online are wrong. Sniffle. Oh no. I'll just check the schedule on the train and I... I... Calm down, it's okay. Wait for me, I'm heading out to find you. No, it's... I'll manage. Can you talk to someone? Ask where the train is heading and I'll meet you there. No. I... Have to handle it myself. You shall stay home, Izuki. No. Nathan, wait. Oh, uh, bye. No. What? What have I done? He's not answering his phone. He doesn't want to talk to me. I'm... What have I done? He would have been fine if he did as he used to. Nathan. Why is it an entirely different road? What the fuck? Hello? Okay.
I'm so so sorry. I don't know what got into me. I really am so sorry, Nathan. I'll let you do it twice. I was a fool and I didn't trust you when you said you could do it yourself. I'm not remembering it wrong. You really... You really did that. Even though I didn't write about it, I'm not wrong. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry it won't happen again. I really do want to spend time with you. You didn't do anything wrong. It was all me. So you didn't tell me to take to take the wrong train so I wouldn't show up? What? No! You didn't want to get rid of me. I invited you out. I want to be with you. Nathan? Okay. Nathan? Hey! Commander Exolotl! Why? Did I do something wrong? I don't understand. Was I? Am I? Was I ever loved? I can't remember. Am I able to be loved? Do people want to love me? Maybe I'm just a bad person. There's something bad in me. When things like that happen, I can stop this feeling. I did something wrong, didn't I? Why do I think I'm bad? Is it because I so many times it wasn't me? Why would I think something like that? What am I? I'm cold. It's lonely. I want someone to feel this space. This feeling is not familiar. Oh. I don't want to know why. I thought I just want to be happy, but that can be all of it. I don't like it. People know at a glance why I don't understand about myself. That's why I'm all alone. Izuki is better off without me. Zal too. I'm a burden to everyone around me. But at the same time I can live alone, I'll never... It's cold. It's lonely. Someone, anyone, notice me. It is an ending, that's why. Oh, wow, that was really quick. That was much more quicker than... Interesting. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about it after we finish this whole sections. But I'm just gonna mention I love how different it is from the other road. It's actually amazing. Oh. oh well, Nathan, sorry about you, but we need to hunt for achievements. Money bags got road B bad ending. Money bags for recovery, sweet tooth. So money, smooth recovery, sweet tooth. Interesting, it should be easy. Let's try it. Okay, how about the snuggly bunny plushy? Look, somebody wants to go home with you. How about him super soft being bunny being bunny plushy? He even has a card suit to his pal. Oh my gosh, so cute! It's for you. Another gift? I can accept that. This little guy looks expensive. But he wants to go with you. You would only face his nose and little eyes, would you? Oh, I can let him live a lonely life on the shelf. Alright, he says he's my new buddy. You already named him. He's happy. Hehe. <laughs> I'm happy he likes to give. And then, skippable? Skippable. Yeah, this this is how the normal road goes, right? You pick an options and everything is capable next. So I was like really confused of when that happens. Anyway, here. Which one has cupcakes with bean chocolate toppings? I'm not a fan of my chocolate, but this is Nathan, so who knows? Munch munch. So, do you like them? I think he just managed to make me like me and chocolate. One of my nannies would feed me ice cream of that exact flavor every single time I ask for food. I build up resistance to put it lightly. Oh. Oh, you're a nanny. Maybe you're a nanny kind of sucks? Hey, I'm a miracle worker. What's your secret? I have a secret ingredient. What is it? Love. M my heart. I'm gonna eating, I'm gonna eating your cupcakes from now on. Hey, I'll remember this for next time you go out. Skip this. Yeah. 
Huh. Wait, maybe since Nathan is time-based, what if we choose 3 p.m.? PM, we're still late. This time, don't send schedule. He said he knows how to do it. I don't want to make him feel sick. He's, a, he's to be dependent on me. And if he does gas last, he call me. I trust Nathan. Yeah, he'll be alright. Oh, that does nothing. This one maybe does something? I don't know. It just says achievement, but I'm not sure which achievement it is. Nathan, Nathan arrived at the destination safely. I headed out, prepared to make up for my mistake last time. Skippable. Same thing? How about the twin panda keychains? Nathan here. How about him to panda keychains? They come together and said. Panda, so cute! It's for you. Another gift? I can accept them. I need to have them. They're cute like you. Cheese smooth talker. Oh, there it is! If he insists, then she'll get one for you, cause you're cute too. What? No, I'm... No buts, we'll be matching. Okay. That's a smooth talker achievement. Hey hey hey. I'm heavy likes to give. Hey, is it key? Hum. Why do you be by me okay, we can see this. Nathan and I left the zoo. This is new. I'll drive you home. Uh, and then it's not new, okay. Chocolate chip cookies? Let's try the cookies. Munch munch. So do you like them? They're crunchy on the outside and delicious the sweet on the inside. I never eaten a homemade cookie before, I've only had the ones from the supermarkets and they are nothing like this. Money bags, I wonder. No, not clicking. I love it, I want to try the other flavors. Hey hey, I'll remember this one next time we go out. And we get a the sweet tooth achievement. I don't know why that's a sweet tooth achievement. Why is this new? Have I told him about my shopping dance? Blah blah blah. The people I was friend with. How I was in middle school. I like baking. Fell in love? Does he know? This is same dialogue, but okay. Now, what? What's the difference? And then it's the normal ending game. Oh, wait. But Nathan's all- Oh, that's how you do it, money bags. Add all of our snacks. Fail the first date but still get a good end, still with recovery. Cool, that's how you do it. So I think I was going to need to click you, Izuki, for a while now. But I guess... Yeah, we, we did it, we got all the achievement. So let's talk about the Nathan road, shall we? It's different from the... Micah road. Micah road, more like a... More like the story of a sweet couple dealing of how to be a couple, right? Like the couple life and stuff like that. While Nathan and Izuka Strode wrote more of like of how to mess up people complete each other. I guess a little bit messed up, like they say to themselves. And I love it. I love the disparity, the difference between the two stories. And also I love yeah, you know what? The glasses thing with all the characters in it makes sense because everyone have their own facet facade, facade, something like that. You know, multifaceted beings, humans, which is amazing. This story is much more, uh, what do you call it? Serious talking about stuff, which is lovely compared to uh, other Mario games also talk about serious stuff, but uh, like in a more abstract way here it's more more of a grounded relationship stories which is like hmm, that's cool i didn't expect that and what else can i say about this i just you know what nathan maybe you're not so bad <laughs> and also izuki izuki has a good smooth introduction even though i think we never seen them before in the previous games on the behind symphony or anything i I'm, I'm just surprised it's a really good introduction of izuki and i like their characters and but the, the small Terry Rose Terry thing, Terry Rose is just making me like, what the hell is that? Uh, anyway, yes, I don't know what else to say about Bohemian Cupid. It's good. That's all I can say. The story is good. The choice of music is popping. I love it. And anyway, yes, we'll just end the video right here. So I guess that's all for Bohemian Cupid. I hope you enjoy it. 
See you later then in my next video or in next mirror games. Bye bye.